the upset at the Arnold Classic was probably the biggest upset of the year. And so, yeah, there was a major upset, but there's going to be even bigger upset at this year's Mr. Olympia. Coach Craig, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my shocking top five predictions of this year's Mr. Olympia Classic Physique Division. And the first major upset is going to be who is going to crack into the top five. It's probably a guy you've never even heard of. And in fifth place, none other than Niall Darwin. I'm telling you guys, I watched this man compete in person. Blew my mind. He has the wildest proportions in classic physique in all the entire division. The only thing that's holding this guy back is he doesn't have the size of Chris Bumstead. If he were, in fact, as big as Chris, I do in fact believe that he could defeat him. And so as soon as you see this guy, you're going to be shocked at how small this guy's waist actually is. Far smaller than even Chris Bumstead. Not only that, he has very wide shoulders down to the small waist and an amazing X factor, including the thighs everything. And so if you just looked at this guy from 2022 till now, you would not believe the transformation that he's made. It's reminiscent to none other than Ramon Dino. Remember when Ramon Dino first hit the stage, he'd put on all that muscle, made the entire country of Brazil and the entire world look up and take notice. That is the one punch man. He's about to make his mark at the Mr. Olympia. And so I can't wait to see how he stacks up against much larger opponents. Guys, Guys like Irv's, Wesley Vissers, Chris Bumstead, Ramon Dino, and so on. And so when you see this guy standing at least alone, you're going to think, how can anyone beat this guy? His shape, his symmetry, the smallness of the waist. He has the picture-perfect physique for classic physique. In my personal opinion, with classic physique, it shouldn't just be bigger means better. And so I would love to see this guy crack the top five and fight for the Mr. Olympia title. And in fourth place, I'm sorry to break it to you, Germany, but it's going to be Irv's Kalasensky. The miracle bear, the best he's going to do this year, it's going to be, unfortunately, fourth place. With the added size added to the Mr. Olympia competitors, remember, a lot of the weight class have allowed them to add more muscle. And in Ur's case, I don't think this is beneficial. Once you get too big, you begin to look like an open class bodybuilder. And so although Ur's has all the muscle, the size, the shape, the symmetry, with that much muscle, he doesn't quite look like an old school bodybuilder. And in third place... Don't hate me, Brazil. I tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear. You want to hear that Ramon Dino is him. The up-and-comer that's finally going to take his place as the Mr. Olympia champion. The man who's been placing second at the Olympia and waiting graciously for his turn once Seabum retires. Or perhaps even dethroning him. But after competing at the Arnold Classic, of which I was there in person... And seeing Wesley Vizers defeat him, and I don't believe by a little bit, I do believe he won handedly. I have to relegate Ramon Dino to third place. I don't even think at this point that the Brazilian fans believe that Ramon Dino could defeat Chris Bumstead. And remember, of all the people in the world, the people from your own country, clearly they're biased. They're cheering for their local champion. They want Ramon Dino to come out as the victor, the Mr. Olympia champion. But remember, placing top three in the world, that is still an amazing task. In comparison, Ramon Dino, he doesn't have quite the shreds of Chris Bumstead. Yeah, he's thick. He has the forearms, the biceps, and so on but he doesn't have as wide of shoulders as Chris Bumstead. And when you look at Seabum next to Ramon Dino, Seabum has a lot more muscle than Ramon Dino. Remember, I don't just think that the larger person should win, but as it stands right now, they do favor the larger competitors. And seeing as Chris Bumstead in fact poses better and is leaner and has more muscle and a much better vacuum pose, I do believe that he is easily going to edge out Ramon Dino. It didn't say he's edging to Ramon Dino. He's going to edge him out 
as the Mr. Olympia champion. And so Nick strength and power showing Ramon Dino three weeks out. And yeah, he looks aight. He's lean. He has great muscles. But not to the extent of Chris Bumstead. There is a clear and distinct difference. Chris Bumstead, in my opinion, is light years ahead of Ramon Dino. And so my personal opinion is Chris Bumstead going to beat Ramon Dino by a landslide. It's not even going to be close. It's not going to be, hmm, I wonder if he could win. I don't believe that following the competition, Ramon Dino fans are going to walk and exit the stage and say he was ripped off. It must be politics. And remember, Ramon Dino was defeated by Wesley Vizers. Wesley Vizers has not defeated Sebum. And so if you assume that Ramon Dino is somehow going to beat Wesley Vizers, then you have to be asking yourself, well, how is that going to happen? Wesley Vizers beat him handily at the Arnold Classic. And so you're thinking, well, if Ramon Dino wants to beat Wesley, then Ramon has to make those improvements. And so do you really think that Ramon Dino just has to come in a little bit sharper, a little bit tighter, and that he'll leapfrog over Wesley Vizers? I don't think so. The upset at the Arnold Classic was probably the biggest upset of the year. And I think Ramon understands the gravity of the situation that he's in. And so, yeah, there was a major upset, but there's going to be even bigger upset at this year's Mr. Olympia. When it comes to this year's Mr. Olympia, he's got to reclaim that spot above Wesley. And so when Nick says he's got to reclaim that spot, he more should be saying he wished he could reclaim that spot. He ain't got to do nothing. He's going to show up at his best and at his best, the best he can hope for is third. He's got to be way better than the Arnold. He's got to fix his posing. He can't be up there kind of shaky, not looking confident. And so fixing his posing, that can do, but showing up way better than he did at the Arnold, it's not going to happen. He looks great in all these updates that we've seen. But I still wonder if it's going to be enough to beat Wesley. The answer is no. It's not even going to be close to being enough. It's not even going to be a close call. And I'm telling you, Wesley is way better than you people think. Remember, I had written him off years ago. But I saw him in person, and I know what he's been able to do. Because I think if we're being honest, I think the Arnold Classic really set Ramon back at least in the eyes of his fans. Well, of course it did. He was expected to win. Wesley Vissers came out of nowhere and dominated, that's right, dominated that competition. He definitely lost, I think, a significant amount of the momentum that he had. And like we've talked about a lot, the conversation has really changed. And remember, you're only as good as your last show. They're not going to remember him from the year before, two years prior, and so on. They're going to remember that's the guy that Wesley Vizers beat. And so when they walk out on stage at the Mr. Olympia, the judges are going to be thinking, did Ramon Dino improve enough to beat and overcome Wesley Vizers? And the answer is not even close. If anything, it's going to be separated by even more. Wesley Vizers at the Olympia is going to dominate Ramon Dino. If Ramon loses to Wesley again at the Olympia, back-to-back, -back, and he's on. It's really bad for Ramon. Bad for Ramon would be if he doesn't make first call-out, if he shows up off, if several other competitors leapfrog over him. But to continue to make top three year after year, that is amazing. And I say that because in these updates, like I said, he looks great. He looks like he's going to be on. He looks like he's going to be better than the Arnold Classic. But let's now see what does it look like Wesley Vizers is going to look like. Remember, if Wesley Vizers shows up without doing what he did for the Arnolds, perhaps he comes in soft, just goes for the fullness, doesn't want to have the shreds, or loses a lot of muscle. Of course, Wesley Vizers could go down. But it's not happening. I think with Wesley, if Wesley comes in better than the Arnold and he beats Ramon, an on version of Ramon, Wesley's definitely next in line. Wesley is next in line. The question now is, is that next in line this year or is it next? And are you freaking kidding me? Look at bro. Bro is him. This guy has so much size, more so than even Chris Bumstead. He's taller than Chris. And right now he's leaner than Chris. He has a better back. The back muscles have more detail, more definition. The delts, striated. And the biceps, are you kidding? Chris doesn't have any biceps. Wesley Vizers, in comparison to Chris, biceps are light years ahead of him. And so this is Wesley three weeks out. Do you really think Ramon Dino has a chance? Wesley Vizers already three weeks out, guest posing in his studio, could beat Ramon Dino right now.
And so if Resley Visitors doesn't do anything, he just shows up like he is right now, perhaps not even with a proper tan, he's still going to place minimum in the top two. And in this guest posing, his legs to me look bigger, but the proportion of his legs to his upper body is off. Now listen, you can only have so much weight within your weight class. If you focus on your legs, having massive quads, hamstrings, and so on, you're gonna have a smaller upper body. That's what happened to me. When I competed in classic physique, I had great legs, but that unfortunately capped out my weight class. I couldn't get the upper body that I needed. Now, if I trained my upper body more and shrank my legs, I'd have a larger upper body, but then I'd have smaller legs. And so pick your poison. And so Wesley Visitors can't just have 10 pounds bigger muscles in his legs and 10 pounds bigger muscles in an upper body. You have to pick one. And so, yeah, his upper body is slightly better, more developed than his lower body. But so is in everyone. Everyone has one body part better than the other. Do you really think that Chris Bumstead is dominant in every single body part? Do you really think he has the best biceps in the world? I don't like his quads, his hamstrings. I don't like his biceps. But he's still a dominant Mr. Olympia champion. Now, with Wesley Visors in comparison to Chris, Wesley has wider shoulders. Wesley also has more density in the shoulders and the back. It has more hardness and graininess. I do believe that Wesley Visers has finally discovered this is what it takes to be a champion. You have to diet harder than last time. Seabum, he's known this for years. You got to show up at 4% body fat, perhaps even less. The leaner you are, the more striations everywhere that you're going to see. And so Wesley Visers, he's putting in his homework. He's coming in fuller, leaner, more muscles than ever before. Now, the one thing, well, two things that Chris Bumstead has in comparison to Wesley Visors is Seabum has the smaller waist. Smaller waist gives the illusion of more size everywhere else. Also, when you have a smaller waist, that's muscles you can put everywhere else. The smaller your waist, the lighter you're going to be. And so it allows Chris to have more lats, more quads, and so on. And the next thing is Chris has the best side chest in the business. The detail in the quads and the hamstrings from the side, it's unbeatable. No one, and I repeat, no one comes close to this. And so I posted on Instagram, who's going to come out on top, Wesley Visors or Chris Bumstead? 64% of people say that Seabum has got it. 18% said that Wesley's got it, while 18% says it's very close. And so many people have been saying, is it Ramon, Dino, or Wesley for second place? What is the battle going on? When the reality is, the battle is for first place. Third place, it's already going to be Ramon Dino. We already know this. But the real question is, can Wesley defeat Seabum? And to answer that, I'm saying he can. However, I don't think that Wesley is going to improve enough this year in order to beat Seabum. Seabum, as far as I know, has had no setbacks in 2024. What could have possibly derailed him or held him back was the fact that he had a baby. But Seabum has made videos saying, the Olympia comes first. I learned to say no 98% of the time. I've avoided going to Gymshark events and so on. And I'm here training. I'm doing what needs to be done. Seabum is not going into this to get second place. He's going to be at his all-time best. He's larger and going to be just as lean as ever before. And so my personal opinion is it's going to take a miracle to defeat the five-time champion. Wesley Fizzers has already made a huge upset. He's beaten Ramon Dino at the Arnold Classic. But to beat Chris Bumstead, the five-time Olympia champion, on his own turf, I don't think he's ready for that. Now remember, I'm not saying that it's not possible. If Chris Bumstead actually showed up off or if he had some kind of an injury, I do believe Wesley's going to win. But barring injury or some unforeseen circumstance, I don't believe Seabum is going to show up looking anything less than his all-time best. Who do you guys think would best fill the overall void that's going to be left by Chris? And as far as retirement, I don't think Seabum is ready to retire. I think he should retire for his health, for his family, and so on. But I don't think he can. This is all he knows. At the end of this year, he's going to be a six-time Mr. Olympia champion. He's won every single year. This is what he does. He's also been given equity in Gymshark. And I do believe that if he were to retire, he's going to lose a massive amount of his followers. People follow Chris Bumstead because they want to see him win the Mr. Olympia champion. 
You can debate me. You can argue with me and say, no, they don't. They just want to see him smile. That's bullshit. And how do I know this? Because every time the Olympia rolls around, he grows huge amounts of followers and gets double, three times, sometimes four times the views as he does in the off season. And so when are people following Chris the most? When Chris Bumstead is dieting at single digit body fat, prepared to battle at the Mr. Olympia. And so if he retires from the Olympia, what do you think is going to happen? The followers, they lose interest. You're only as good as your last competition. And so if you skip competing, well, the fans, they soon forget. See, Bum, I do believe he's not going to retire. I believe he's going to continue next year and possibly even the next. He's shown that he can balance having a family as a baby while still training harder than last time and dieting with no problem. And so if he wins this year's Mr. Olympia for the sixth straight time, defeating Wesley Vizers, why wouldn't he simply do it again? Following the competition, he'll probably take a break, relax, go off the diet, gain a little bit of body fat, and then main gain. And then why not again go and give it his all four months out before the competition? And so what I'm telling you is Seabom is going to win his sixth Mr. Olympia title, and he's not going to retire. I've made videos in the past saying he can't retire, and I personally don't believe that he's ready to. I think he's going to continue to compete as the Mr. Olympian champion until the year that he thinks he couldn't win. Let me know in the comment section, do you agree with my top five? Do you believe that Seabum will again repeat as a six-time Mr. Olympia champion and that he will again compete to defend it in 2025? And of course, this video is sponsored by myself, Harder Than Last Time Supplements, advising you, telling you to purchase Geo2 Max and Turk Builder. There's a money-back guarantee. Did you know that? In comparison to other supplement companies, they probably don't have a money-back guarantee. Get over to my website and remember, use code GREG for 15% off. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm, like the video if you in fact liked it, watch one of those two bloops. Don't forget to free diet and training program. It's on the website. You can also get the cookbook, the training book, the circle diet book, the harder than last time clothing line. Get to the website, code GREG, 15% off. And until next, Next time, I am out.